Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well, Jailing. My name is Simply Velka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for March 2022, Jailing, all right? If you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you, and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Jailing, all right? So let's just jump right into your reading here, Sagittarius. Let's see what's good, what's popping, what's gonna be going down for you uh, during this month, Saggy. So we're going to be doing three cards here. We have here the Six of Cups stepping forward here, Sagittarius, as well as the Eight of Wands coming in. And then, baby, we have the Two of Pentacles coming in, darling. All right. So, <laughs> Sagittarius, I don't know how happy you're going to be with this message here, um, depending on how this X situation looks like for you, honey. All right. Back of the deck is the Seven of Cups as well. So how this is going to be going zoom for you, darling, is that be a anticipating something coming up from your past here Sagittarius all right some you might be hearing some intel about a situation definitely especially about it's like some if it's about a person honey it's definitely like some type of ex-friend ex-relationship type type of dy dynamic here all right um Someone's going to be coming back in, and the reason why I know it's an ex-situation here, Sagittarius, that I'm not quite sure how you feel about it, is that I don't see you being quite sure how you feel about it, right? With the Seven of Cups, as well as the Two of Pentacles here, this is a lot of juggling. This is a lot of where it's just like a lot of different options, a lot of different possibilities for how this could be playing out. This is just like is for some of you Sagittarius you're just like oh my god like why is this now coming in like this is the last thing you've been needing is to have like more complications to your life right now right that's what I hear for some of a lot of you guys is just like man like like you have mixed feelings so you're just like okay like it might be nice to hear back from this person see what they have to say but at the same time you're just like holy crap darling like everything that this means and what this represents darling it's a lot of moving parts with this energy coming back in from the past here with the six of cups here something i want to be pointing out as well darling is the lover's card is the card after the seven of cups so honey honey all right eight of wands that's that card of movement here so this is going to be you're going to be hearing back from this sooner rather than later some of you guys i wouldn't be surprised especially even today um because i'm being shown like a text message notification here so definitely hearing back about a situation today if this is about a job i see this the same thing as just like really juggling with a bunch of different things and just being like okay like i like this but it's a lot of work knight of cups coming in here definitely very soon darling <laughs> i'm gonna say two weeks max two weeks two weeks max i'm gonna give this darling uh such a terrace before you hear back from this all right some of you guys it might be a family member that you cut off or that you blocked at one point darling and so if you have no one that you want to be connecting with darling such a terrace you need to to be making sure that the walls are reinforced honey you need to be making sure that the block button stays strong and hot darling you need to make yourself inaccessible if you don't want to hear have this energy be coming in because i feel like it's like going to be banging on your door trying to be fighting with a vengeance vengeance to be present all right for some of you sagittarius you might be even asking yourself the question being like did you just come back into my life to complicate things out of spite honey that's what i feel like uh, i'm hearing for some of you sagittarius's we have the chariot card coming in. Yeah, darling. <laughs> You're having all the cards, Sagittarius, where it's just like, it's like banging on that door, honey, where it's like, hey, Sagittarius, don't forget about me, Sagittarius. Remember that one point in time that we spent some time together, honey? Don't forget about me, Sagittarius, right? This energy is crawling back and they just sagittarius like i don't know why but i like i'm feeling like feelings are just like overwhelmed and just kind of annoyed as well sagittarius just due to like how this is just very persistent right it's like this person's like literally just like banging on your door honey just being like sagittarius sagittarius is anybody home like really just like not giving up um very persistent uh and then we have the hanged man here uh, sagittarius this is very much so like a situation where it's like family member coming in uh you know being like oh why why don't you ever talk to me i've changed i've changed why you keep talk like why do you not want to talk to me why don't you want to get along with me because you keep referencing things from the past five years ago when i was toxic right but they don't even use the word toxic because they don't ever see themselves as being toxic right hangs man here it's like it's very much so i've changed i've changed sagittarius please make time for me please connect with me more here 
But darling, back of the deck, eight of cups, you walked away from the situation beforehand, Sagittarius, because you were telling yourself that you're just like, no, this just isn't good enough for me. You deserve more. Like this wasn't fulfilling for you anymore. So you had to leave this situation, right? You made the choice about this beforehand, Sagittarius, and being like of um, disconnecting from this. You completely, I say that with complete confidence, you made the choice in walking away from this and like it's like just when you just when you are about to finally forget about them sagittarius they come swinging on that door and be like hey did you forget about me here <laughs> page of swords watch what you've been posting on social media sagittarius watch what you've been posting about watch what it is that you have been saying darling page of swords energy this is someone that even though you walked away from this darling beforehand sagittarius they never took their eyes off of you right page of swords that's someone just um just paying attention right very stalking energy but i don't feel like this is like i mean maybe it is darling right but maybe that's just my own optim optimism i always give the benefit of the doubt and sometimes y'all always just prove to me honey where it's just that people are actually really crazy with the stuff that y'all tell me about emperor energy this is someone who likes to have a lot of control in the situation here king of swords as well in the back of the deck this is someone who has a lot of control or who likes to have a lot of control they like to have the focus be on them sagittarius this is very much so someone who likes the center of attention and when the attention isn't on them when the world doesn't revolve around them anymore sagittarius then they're just like they're just like now wait a minute you know like you're supposed to be fighting for me you're supposed to be you know you're supposed to be chasing me right Sagittarius I suspect that you gave somebody like a wake-up call or a job a wake-up call when you're like it's like someone something didn't think that you were going to leave Sagittarius and you were just like all right bet honey I'm about to just be not only am I about to be walking out that door honey but you're about to be seeing this ass swing so beautifully as I walk out and slam that door and break the glass honey <laughs> um this is very much so someone who likes to have that control can i just say it sagittarius can i just say this i think they're self-centered i think they're self-centered and i think i can say it just because you know this is a very just like i feel like you can only handle this energy in small doses to be honest here sagittarius like this is just like ugh. <sighs> let's continue on four swords with this situation here and then the seven of cups so this is how it is going to be i don't feel like i need to get into any more with this full energy in the back of the deck as well sagittarius this is quite literally just somebody asking for a second chance this is somebody who is really just being like oh i've changed like can we heal what's happened from in the past can we do what we need to do to get things going again because they don't like the idea sagittarius that you are moving on into bigger and better waters into um and dealing with bigger and better people honey right this is that's how i see this situation playing out sagittarius and usually i'm the type of person darling that's just always about um you know allowing people to grow give them the benefit of the doubt that you would want for yourself honey but i just get with this i'm so turned off from this energy to be honest sagittarius and i say turned off in the sense of being like i don't even want to engage with this anymore because it's just like this person just is only like they don't i don't feel as if this person really even wants to like this might sound brutal might hurt some of y'all's feelings sagittarius but I don't mean it about you. It's more so about this person. It's like, I don't feel like this person even wants to be part of, like, even wants you in their life. I think they just don't like seeing you moving on. I think they just don't like not being the center of attention. I don't think they like realizing that you are not, the, that they are not the main character in your life. That's what I feel. And that's why I think they're coming, like, scrambling back and being so forceful with that chariot energy and all that, man, and the emperor. So forceful, Sagittarius, with trying to get your attention again. That's why I'm saying, like, I, you better have that block button strong, Sagittarius. You better have your boundaries set up to just to correct, honey, because this is, like if you, if they're gonna try to find any way possible to communicate with you you might even be hearing from a friend um and being like hey like they're messaging you and be like hey do you know this person and it ends up being this like crazy per like they kind of give me like crazy vibes i'm gonna be honest here <laughs> like i was half joking beforehand with that page of swords there's like stalking energy i wanted to make the comparison to the main character in you the netflix series you um joe um but it's kind of giving me this joe energy honey and not in the cute attractive way <laughs> uh so let's continue on sagittarius let's see what else is uh going on for you during this month of march 2022 
Ace of Swords coming in here. All right. Ace of Swords. How is this Ace of Swords being played out, though? Five of Pentacles coming in here. And then Sagittarius, we got coming in here, the Knight of Swords. All right. So a lot of the, like Sagittarius, this is the crazy part. Like you have this energy coming in here. And I feel like this comes in right when you start pursuing things more. It's like right when the movement starts happening, once you start picking up more traction. I don't know, Sagittarius, if you start posting your celebrations more or just what have you. For some reason, Sagittarius, I feel as if other people are going to be like this energy at least is realizing like how like where you are going in your life here or like where you're trying to go and then once you start taking action towards that because i see a lot of progression in your life here for this month uh sagittarius a lot of you're making a lot of progression in just rant like not random facets but just in various facets in your life that you've been wanting to tend to they see the healing they see, like just a lot of growth here um for you and then this other energy comes in in the middle of that because i see you juggling a lot of moving parts but they're not like juggling in like a bad way in the sense of being like a bad a bunch of bad things you just have like a bunch of like projects that you're wanting to do doing a lot of things at once but all of it garners a lot of uh success i realized i called this the ace of swords when i meant to be calling this the ace of wands by the way all right we have here the five of swords coming in here yeah it's like sagittarius the moment you start just catching finding your stride with the situation it's like this wrench uh, this wrench here honey this wrench gets thrown into your plans and then tries to complicate things in your life that's how things are going down sagittarius so you need to be prepared for that all right honey <laughs> don't lose your stride because of that uh these wrenches all right knight of wands here because that's the thing i feel like this other situation is just going to be trying to pull out emotion from you i feel like that's the main goal or that's like the main test here with this is like testing to see is sagittarius going to react is sagittarius going to fall back into bad habits um when we present this trigger to sagittarius because that's really what it is it's like a test whether it's a test from the universe or whether it's just a test i mean that, that's just like the main thing here honey it's just like a, some type of test styling about being like is sagittarius going to engage with this or is sagittarius going to allow this to just make them more money honey right to um add further stability into your life here sagittarius with that ten of pentacles but it's just like y'all are doing very 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 great things in your life here sagittarius all right so while we don't like this dusty energy over here sagittarius this very like very broke energy here honey right um very just like toxic Ugh, i don't like it at all sagittarius you have that over there darling take that as a very positive sign darling when you get these haters when you get these people trying to leech off of you honey take this as a positive sign towards that your manifestations are working all right that's how you're going to get affirmation um of just progress on your road is through those wrenches that we talk about and, you know, and that's trying to come in so as long as you don't allow those things to distract you sagittarius i see a very abundant future for you darling all right honey so i love you so much Sagittarius hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you darling if you did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe remember Sagittarius I only do readings through my website simplyvelco.com and I will be connecting with you sometime in the near future Sagittarius I love you so much darling bye